Hey guys, Domsky here, and I'm gonna be showing you how to get a really high sign intensity for your character in The Witcher 3. As I'm sure everyone is curious, how high can the sign intensity actually go now that both expansions are out? Uh, this is the highest that I've been able to make that I've seen, not saying it's the highest possible, but uh, it is really high. So let's begin. So for our gear, for both our swords and our armor, you wanna use Grandmaster Griffin, the, the Grandmaster Griffin set. The reason for this is that sign intensity is the main focus. Now you do need the Blood and Wine DLC for this. And the cool thing is that you get these bonuses if you wear three pieces and if you wear six pieces. You can see in the green text at the bottom there. For Griffin, if you're wearing all six pieces, so four armor and two swords, uh, when using Yurden, the trap is 40% bigger, and when you're inside the trap, you get increased stamina regeneration, uh, reduced damage, and your sign intensity is increased by 100%. So for what we're trying to do, this is really important. Uh, for both swords, for the slots, I like to add the Greater Velus Runestone, which is 5% sign intensity. So that's 30 altogether. And then for the armor, for the slots, it doesn't really matter. You can add whatever you like. I like to add Igni because it's one of my favorite signs. And it's really, really powerful when you get your sign intensity really high. So moving on to uh, the character build. If you want the highest sign intensity, focus on the sign tree. It's as easy as that. And uh, let's see, three, six. For your character uh, build, uh, you have uh, 12 slots, and you want to fill them with 12 skills from the sign tree. That will ensure you get 160% uh, sign intensity um, added to your character, as you can see right here. Again, it doesn't really matter. You can add any of the skills that you like. Uh, new for the Blood and Wine DLC, they added this uh, mutation tree, which is right here. And it's really cool. It adds a lot of really powerful upgrades to your character for, for Endgame. Um, I looked this over and I tried to determine what was best for increasing sign intensity. And the best one for me, it seems to be uh, the Alchemy Mutation Euphoria. And it reads, each point of toxicity increases damage dealt by swords and sign intensity by 0.75% to a maximum of 205%. So, um, as you can see, if we get our toxicity up really, really high to the max, we can increase our sign intensity by 200%. Now, you might be wondering, having a sign build, how do we increase our toxicity? Because I think the base toxicity is 100, maybe? Um, what you need to do is, uh, with the new Blood & Wine DLC, they give you four added uh, skill slots. Now, to unlock these, you just need to really upgrade your character, and you need to research as many of these mutations uh, as you can, and you'll unlock uh, more of the slots. And you only need two from the alchemy tree to increase our toxicity. The first one is heightened tolerance, which increases potion overdose from 75% to 100%, which pretty much means, uh, like let's say in the base game, if your toxicity is 80% or hot, like 75% or higher, you will take damage. Your character will lose vitality. So that's our first one. And the second one is Acquired Tolerance, which is every known level 1, 2, or 3 alchemy formula increases max toxicity by 1. This just means that we can take more potions. We can actually take decoctions. So if we go back to our inventory and look at our character, instead of 100, we can get our toxicity all the way up to 274. So this is really going to help with sign intensity and that euphoria mutation. So let's go to some gameplay right here. So here we go. This is our character. Uh, currently, we don't have any bonuses added to our character. And our current sign intensity, again, is 271. So let's begin to add stuff to increase this. As you can see, we're in Skellige right now. We can see the sun a little bit right there, but pretty much it is cloudy. In cloudy weather, you can take a decoction which will help with sign intensity. It is called the Foglet decoction, so a 25% increase. So we'll take that. And now we just want to fill up on toxicity, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to take a bunch of these uh, potions right here. Uh, let's see, so Superior Thunderbolt, Tiny Oil, uh, Petri's Filter, that does help with sign intensity. So you can see in the top left, the green bar is filling. And also in the top left, you can see that circle with, now it says 155. That means both damage and sign intensity is currently increased by, a, by that much. So we want to max out our 
toxicity we'll just do whatever it doesn't really matter so 189 now let's take a look so before our sign intensity was 271 currently it is 510 so we almost doubled our sign intensity uh, with that so you can see how mass like how powerful euphoria is it's probably the best mutation in blood and wine because not only does it help with sign intensity it helps with damage from swords now what else can we do if we remember if we go back to our griffin grandmaster gear set if we look at the bonus since we have all six once in the yurden trap sign intensity increases by another hundred percent so let's go do that uh go do that so yurden let's take it out put it down uh you can see in the top left the symbol there and also like a purple mist sort of uh follows our character uh let's take another there we go 199 okay so we went from i, th I forget where we were at but now we're up to 620 now that we're inside the Yurden Trap. So if, for example, like watch, if we leave the Yurden Trap, we'll lose that bonus and it'll go down to 519. So it almost goes up by 100 points. Let's see. Oh, put another one down. Uh, yeah, it goes up like 100 points when we're inside the Yurden Trap. Now I've also noticed when we spawn in an enemy, and sorry for the sound of my keyboard here, I'll try to be quiet. Uh, one hand, let's spawn in an enemy, put away this. So he's inside the Yurden Trap taking damage right now. Now, if we look at our sign intensity, let's take a look at it, it's 650. Uh, wow, 650, that's the highest sign intensity that I think I've ever seen. That is pretty crazy right there. Now look, if we use uh, Igni, for example, let's, okay, we took some damage right there. If we go, let's check out Igni, because remember from our gear, we also added glyphs to increase that as well. So let's see here. So fire damage is 826 and 100% uh, to burn. So this is, uh, our character is 98. We are playing on PC. I did upgrade our, you can also see the money is really increased. We are playing on PC. I'll just show you right now, actually. Uh, just to show this is legit. Uh, Death March, enemy upscaling on. I am on PC. I did add money and I upgraded our character so we could try different stuff, but everything is legit. We're not cheating in any way, just with the money in our level. But again, this character is upgraded to our level. So watch when we use Igni here, since our sign intensity is so high. Look, he's set a flame and he's taking a thousand damage almost every like second or two seconds. That's just insane, the sign intensity. So now let's add a couple more characters. Again, sorry for the keyboard sound. Um, we're just using console command on the PC. Let's add five enemies here again. These enemies. They're tough They're at our level. So let's put let's uh, use there. So it's there we go Igni and they're taking like a thousand damage every second one hit of Igni Sets them on fire and they're dead just like that. We don't even have to fight them That's that goes to show you how crazy sign intensity actually is and how important it is. So if we go back uh, There we go so 650, it did go down a bit because we finished combat and our Yurden sign went away. But there we go, 650%. That's the highest that I've seen. It's pretty crazy when dealing with enemies, you can just set them on fire and they'll just die almost instantly. If you can somehow get a higher intensity, I'd love to see it. Um, if any of you have uh, made a higher intensity, put it in the comments below and I'd love to check it out. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.